Well, the women's uh, 800 meters We've got uh, Jenny Meadows drawn in the fifth lane in this first of the semi-final heat. And uh, Jenny, of course, very, very experienced. And Lupu, of course, sixth and seventh at the last two world championships drawn in the sixth lane as well. And Hein of uh, Norway, the Norwegian indoor record holder, is fourth in Oslo and second in Stockholm in the Diamond League series, incidentally. So she's... Uh, Doing very well, Aikens looking uh, very good too. Ellen van Langen, the former Olympic champion in the crowd there at home, had a chat with her yesterday, runs the Hengelo meeting and runs it very well. Ukrainian. That's Lupu. So... Well, let's see who takes this on. The first two and the next two fastest will go through as qualifiers. And Aikens of uh, Germany has gone off pretty quickly right on the outside. But Jenny Meadows knows what she's doing here and won't uh, go off uh, too quickly. Coming across is uh, Hein of Norway. But all of a sudden, it just slows down just a little bit. Helling uh, of Germany, the European under-23 bronze medalist, the German champion, the tall figure in there. Looking very comfortable indeed. Jenny Meadows now moving right up into the uh, position to attack on the outside. And always knows exactly what to do. Hein, uh, say the Norwegian indoor record holder. Uh, 2.01.33 her best this season. Well, we'll have a look and see what sort of pace they've got for the first half of this first qualification. Remind you, just two go through by right. Jenny Meadows has good control of the race at the moment. She's leading and leading it to well in second place is Sylvanda. It's just 60 seconds, so it's, it's respectable for a heat, but uh, it really is going to hot up, I would think, very, very shortly. And Jenny Meadows is now starting to subtly increase the pace there. And uh, Hedda Hein of Norway going with her. Lupu then has sensed the danger and moves up onto the outside as well. And uh, looks as though she's going to make some play. And she goes into the almost to 200 metres to go. Herring, the tall German, is there as well. And look at this. The... I'm just looking at Jovic as well of Poland. Uh, look to me. I think that was Jovic. Yes, she is. She's moved into... Uh, contention now as they come into the straight with just the first two to go through by right. Lupu leads. Hein in second place. Jenny Meadows is trapped on the inside. Jovic of uh, Poland. Jenny Meadows is trapped and is not going to qualify here. Lupu, Heine and the Jovic of Poland. Well, Jovic of Poland certainly qualified, coming through very, very strongly in the final stages there. Hein, of course, coming through as well, but Jovic looked good. She was uh, not really in the race until the final stages. She tactically ran that very nicely indeed. Hein Lupo just out of it at the moment with 2.018. Now, whether that will be fast enough, we'll see. But Lupo, you could see. Jenny Meadows got terribly boxed, but still didn't have the pace to come down. And Hein just taken to the line by Jozbik of Poland, the European bronze medalist uh, four years ago, incidentally. She was a world championship competitor, got seventh in the uh, world championships in Beijing. So she knows what she's doing and qualified in the end reasonably well. Well, a couple of uh, decent reputations there. Took an arc, didn't they, Natalia Lupu? Back in third spot, she may still qualify as a fast loser. 2.01.74 her time in coming third. But Jenny Meadows there really some way short of her best. Outside 2.03 down in sixth place. But Joanna Josvik, the pole there she is. At one point she threatened to come around Hedda Hein of uh, Norway around the bend. But Hein made as big an obstacle of herself as she possibly could. And Josvik almost just said, right, well, OK, I'll wait. And then she came into the straight and she just moved wide. And I think that Josvik had plenty in hand there. I think she was significantly the best athlete in that race. And there's no doubt that she's a contender when we get to the final. Look out for her. The first to finish uh, strongly in the second half of the race. And she certainly did that. So the winning time, 201.52, Hedda Hein, 201.57.
So the athletes preparing for this second semi-final. Three heats at the semi-final stage of many of the events here. What that does mean is it really hots things up. Just two places guaranteed through to the final. The best of the losers at the moment from that first heat is Natalia Lupu, 201.74. That was uh, Renel Lamott. Anita Henrik's dot here. Now, half of this field of eight have won European titles of one description or another before. Henrik's dot here, former European junior champion, as was this woman, Takachuk of Ukraine. Lamott, the European under 23 champion from last year. Here is uh, Esther Guerrero of Spain went out at the first round heat stage at the World Championships last year, looking to get through to a European final. The starter not happy. Toes perhaps on the white line. So let's just go through the lineup again. Kamarova, Azerbaijan in one. And Jarland of Norway in two. Lind. Semi-finalist two years ago from Sweden in three. Bukol, European indoor champion last year of Switzerland in four. One of the favourites. Lamod of France in five. Henrik Stottier of Iceland in six. Tokachuk, Ukraine in seven. Guerrero of Spain in lane eight. So just the first two. Guaranteed a spot in the final. Buka rather dwelt there at the start. Having to pick up the uh, cadence just a bit higher than maybe should have wanted to, just to get herself in the right position. The break there from lanes in the traditional spot, right at the top of the back straight. And it's Lamotte. The quite significant physical presence there of the Frenchwoman, but it's uh, Tukachuk, the former European junior champion, coming across and... Uh, Making the early running there. Kamarova of uh, Azerbaijan and uh, Chile's to catch up there in second place. Lamotte is in third. Look out for Henrik's dot here, running very wide at the moment. She has in the past shown a degree of tactical naivety. In her earlier career, she used to go out and just run incredibly fast right from the starter's gun and hang on. That was good enough at European junior level. Perhaps she's got to be a little bit more thoughtful here at senior level and at the moment at the bell reached at 59.25. She's got just one athlete behind her and that is the Norwegian Trina Majalan. So, 300 metres to go. Kamara in first place. Buchel's got a bit of ground to make up. Henrik Stottier running wide again, the Icelander. She's following Buchel. And that's a good track to follow, I would suggest, because Buchel, the European indoor champion from last year, perhaps the woman to chase here, as well as Lamotte. And Lamotte it is who finds herself out in front as the Spaniard Guerrero starts to slip back. So it's Lamotte who looked good in qualifying for this semi-final, making the best of her way home. Buchel is there in second place. Henrik Stottier is in third, but the leading two are getting away. And this is a very mature run from the Frenchwoman. Ramel Lamotte takes this second semi. Buchel is coming through in second place. Great finish there from Lavisa Lind of Sweden, who didn't really give herself a chance. She might rue her tactics, but who knows? There is a chance she will go through as a fast loser because that is sub two minutes. Confirmation of the winner's time, 159.87. Buchel 200 well. Well, I can tell you that the athletes finishing in third and fourth in this second heat occupy the fastest loser spot. So at the moment, Anita Inrichs Dottier, the young Icelander, she stands as the second of the fast losers. Heats of the semi final round of the women's 800 Kerry, Evangelidou, Leonard, uh, Prischeba, Sandiusti, Prestegen. Uh, Pedivara and Carol of Belarus. Well, Verstegen, 30 years old, winner of 13 Dutch titles in her time, still to break into below two seconds. Piedevere, 
of uh, Romania is in the seventh lane, the Balkan champion. And uh, Carol on the outside, the Belarusian, she's the indoor champion this season. 2.01.42, her personal best set this year, so she's uh, doing very nicely. Let's see who will uh, take this on into the back straight and establish the, the pattern of the race, so much so called. And uh, looks as though it is uh, Alison Leonard, a World Youth 800 metre silver medalist a few years ago now, semi finalist in the European Championships four years ago. 20071 this season, just being overtaken as they go into the 200 metre mark uh, by uh, Verstegen, the very experienced uh, Dutch athlete. And uh, behind her is the Italian. And as they come into the straight now, we'll give you a check on the halfway time to see how quick it is. Um, Plesheba of Ukraine it is, who's there, and it's slowed down. Look at this, it's really slowed down. And uh, let's see how... Just outside 60. Actually, it's, it was a little bit quicker to the 400 than I thought. Well, it means we are going to have to have a second or a faster second lap, really, for any fast losers to come here. So it's pretty plain to these women. They've got to finish in the first two if they want to make the final. Yeah, Leonard is in a good position, Alison Leonard, in uh, second. There she is right on the outside, not getting trapped in at all. Carol is running wide. Sandy is uh, of Italy is there, the former Cuban, very experienced. And Leonard's got to take it on from about, uh, what, 250? meters she's taking it on I hope she's not gone too early on that uh, but uh, and the rest to run her down but uh, certainly Sandy Usti of Italy is now making a play for her as she comes into the straight now along with uh, Plesheba of the Ukraine uh, in fourth place and uh, Verstegen is trapped on the inside and Leonard is running very very strongly but can she hold on down this straight she looks to me as though the others are going to come faster and it is in fact uh, Plesheba who's going to come through to win this now can Leonard get into a place a qualifying place no she can't and uh, Sandiusti of Italy takes the second qualifying uh, position in that race. 201.75. Well, you can't uh, fold Alison Leonard, really. She did everything absolutely right. Just didn't have a little bit of uh, what she needed at the end. It was just to get run out of it, which is very disappointing for her, of course. Um, Sandiusti and Leonard, uh, 202.31 in third place. Good race, though.